Hello, hello, and welcome. Hey, Thank Bill. you guys for tuning in. Hi, Kelly. Hey, Bill. Hey, everybody. All right, hope you guys are going to have a fun sale. I hope everybody's having a great day. If you see something you want, just claim the keyword in the comment section. And you can always email us at the emails on the screen there and to register as well if you'd like to buy something. Um, we're going to go ahead and dive right in because we only All have right. an hour. So I'm going to bring Kelly up. Okay. All right. Hit that thumbs up for us, guys. Yeah. Thank you so much for tuning in. Okay. And we're doing keywords again, guys. So. All right. First, I've got this gold tone chunky let's call it a collar necklace it's new old stock probably from about the 70s it's a fashion piece and still has its um well they made them good back then still has its tag on it <laughs> and here's the clasp and um we're gonna say uh gold tone collar and $15 on this one. Okay. And then, let's see. All right. Then I've got, I need to bring you down. Um, got this really sweet little necklace. It's a, it's vintage. It's got a spring ring clasp on a gold tone chain. And it has a cute little, um, you know, I'm not sure what this is. It's pretty light. It might be, it's sort of like lacquered wood, like those, um, the Russian brooches, like they're black painted, you know, wood. And then it has a hand painted flower on it on the front. And this one is going to be $10. We'll say yellow flower. Okay. And then it was headed on this little frame so cute this is a all ceramic frame and i'll measure it it's got a little um vintage picture of a girl in it right now but it's it's like all one piece so you've got your kickstand is ceramic as well and you could just slide your own picture in there whatever you want to put let's see if i can get it out so i could show you how that works this one's kind of just a thin there we go see you just put it right down in the little slot and put your own picture in whatever you'd want, like. And um, let's measure. Oh boy. Okay, it looks like it's three and a fourth by by two. Three and a fourth by two. And this one's gonna be twelve dollars, and we'll say yellow flower frame. Okay, and then for my fourth, I've been noticing that bows are kind of uh, big right now. And I've got a gold tone bow brooch. Really sweet. Uh, I don't see any markings on it. I do think it's vintage, but it's in excellent condition. And um, on this one, we're going to say $6 and bow brooch. And let's see, that's... One, two, three, four, and one, two, three. Is that my third? No. <laughs> I've completely uh. lost already. <laughs> one, two, three, yeah, four. Okay, I need one more. So this one, okay. I, I've been having a lot of religious lately, if you guys haven't noticed. <laughs> Hope you're not getting tired of it. But this is a cute little, I think it's a, a child's rosary. And this is like acrylic with resin over it this has a, actually has a baby on it might be for christening huh it's got blue glass beads and rondelles so it's um they call these a hand rosary i think it does have a clasp so you could wear it on your wrist and then i think this goes into your hand or something i'm not sure anyway really cute and this one's going to be Ten dollars. Um, we'll say baby rosary because it has a little baby on it. <laughs> and that was my five. Cute. All right, you guys. Let's switch over. Okay. Let's get started over here. All right. Let's start with this beautiful glass brooch. 
And it's like a smoky with an amethyst and a champagne crystal. Really pretty. Looks like a flower. And it's like 3D raised. And it is a brooch. That's the back. And on this one, we'll do $10. And the keyword is going to be, let's just call this one Smoky Flower. I know there's other colors, but just so we don't have to write a lot. Smoky Flower. You have the amethyst and the champagne as well. Really pretty. Okay, 10 on that one. Then we have this little cherub baby trinket box. And inside there is a rosary with some blue glass beads. So you'll get the rosary as well. Um, I'll give you a quick measurement if you want to know on this rosary. The length on the rosary is, it's about 24 total, 24 inches. And that's the inside of the trinket box. And it closes nicely. Super cute. Um, we'll go 15 and you'll get both. The rosary and the trinket box. And the keyword is going to be cherub trinket box. Or you could just say cherub trinket to make it shorter. Cherub trinket. Super cute. Okay. And then we have this beautiful amethyst cross and we'll, we'll use that as the keyword amethyst cross necklace this one is 18 inches it's on a, a snake chain really buttery soft snake chain and i'll give you a measurement on the actual cross as well that's the back really pretty um we'll go eight dollars on this one keyword amethyst cross and let me tell you really quickly the size of the cross itself so the cross pendant is about one and a half inches including the bail including the bail it's almost one and a half inches okay really pretty All right, and then next item, I have this super cute fox. And that's going to be the keyword, fox, with the little amethyst rhinestones. We have a lot of purple today. I like purple. I like pink and purple. Mm -hmm. So super cute little guy. He's going to be $8 and just put in fox if you want that little guy. Looks like he's looking up to the sky. Super cute. And he's all jeweled out. And he's like a, a, a light amethyst color. His enameling. Okay. And then for my fifth item, let's do one more necklace. This next one is by Napier. It's a Napier pearl necklace. Hand knotted. This is the type of clasp it has, the type that you whoop, drop something in my light box that you push in. I just have it open for ease of use. It does close. Um, there's your tag that says Napier. Kind of hard to see. And this one is a 25, approximately 25 inches. Really pretty. I'm going to put it on the bust for you. And it is hand knotted. Um, we'll do eight dollars on this one and just put Napier Pearl. Napier Pearl. It has nice weight to it. Nice, well made. Napier makes nice jewelry. Okay, and that's my fifth item. So we'll go back over to Miss Kelly. Thank you guys so much. And there you are. Let's bring you up. There you go. Okay. This piece, it's a vintage piece. And it's, um, this one is really neat because it's versatile. But um, I'll show you up close. It's got the scroll work. A lot of scroll work with, um, I don't know if that's real turquoise or it could be. But I think it's probably faux. Um, 
not positive, but this necklace, if you could see the chain, it's very versatile because you can wear it really long, as you can see, or it can be brought up to wear like a collar necklace as well. So a lot of versatility there. And um, here's the, just has that, no, no markings. But it's in good shape for its age and it's um here's the back seems to be made really well and uh this one's gonna be 18 dollars. and let's just say a faux turquoise <laughs> faux turquoise scroll will be the keyword for that one and then i have something in copper here this is a cool necklace um and this one's a 20 inch vintage as well okay and trying to get it on this small bust isn't too easy but here we go it's just a it's a big buddha pendant and the back says um what does it say original copper probably no yeah, genuine copper. There we go. With Mr. Buddha. And um, here's the clasp on it. Let's just say um, $15 Buddha. 15 Buddha on that one. Okay. And then this next necklace. This one I couldn't find a marking on at all. Wow, it's vintage. It just seems like it. I thought I was going to find Napier or something, but no. Um, anyway, here we go. Now this one's going to go on the bust good. It has gold tone with a creamy white enameling. Just a really pretty piece. And uh, it does have a vintage type clasp. I think it's an older one. Doesn't really have a lot of metal loss, though. Looks really good. And this one's going to be $10. And let's just say gold and enamel. Gold and enamel, $10. Okay, so there's those. Okay. And for my fourth, I have these really cool earrings. These are new old stock. They're vintage acrylic. You can see the pat the pastel color um, beads. They're really um, a nice acrylic though. They're sort of heavy, heavy-ish. They have like the little um, I think those are those cocker bell flowers hanging with the dangle balls, peach and baby blues and cream colors. And oh, if you can look real close, there's a bunch of flowers in the middle of each one of these. Really cute. I don't know if you can see that and they are clip on new old stock and these are going to be twelve dollars and let's just say pastel dangles and then for my fifth okay let's throw in another rosary this is a really pretty one um Sorry, I'm dropping my... <laughs> okay. Okay, so this one will start down with the cross. Really pretty cross in gold tone. And blue glass beads and gold metal uh, chain. There's your, your station. And here's the back of it. There's a glare on that. There we go. Mother of good, good success, pray for us. Really pretty. And um, let's do $18 on this one. And we'll just say, um, have we done blue glass rosary yet? No? Okay. Blue glass rosary. Okay. And let's see, was that four? I think that was four. So for my fifth, I'm going to show this really cute. This is a beaded purse. It is vintage, but 
again, it's an excellent shape. It's gold beaded. It sort of reminds me of a shell. The way it's shaped. And as you can see, let's see, this might not be the side it was on. It's a kiss clasp. Right here, there's some loose beads, but they're not off. Just kind of loose right there. I can feel them, but they're not off. You can see right there. I don't know if I can catch it. There we go. And then on the back, there might be a missing bead right here. There's a thread, so I'm assuming there might be a missing bead. And there's one more right here. Other than that, it's um, really pretty. And the inside is like new really soft satin there's your brand and it has a nice long so you could wear it you know as a, a crossbody or a shoulder strap and this one is going to be twenty dollars and let's just call it gold shell vintage purse gold shell vintage purse and that's my fifth very nice now thank you you are very welcome all right, so we'll get started with this pretty blue necklace. It's got a gunmetal tone. It's about 17 inches approximately, and it has some, it looks like a mixture of cat eye, it's the faux pearl, and some blue faceted beads. Super cute. Um, kind of looks like a cha-cha, so we'll call this one blue cha-cha. Blue cha-cha. And um, $8.00. Eight dollars for this one. Really pretty. Nice thick chain. Nowhere. And I just have it tied up a little bit shorter. You do have an extension here to make it longer. Like I said, about 17, almost 18 inches. So really pretty. That's the first one. Next, we have this beautiful peacock brooch. And it can also be worn as a pendant. Very, very pretty. I love the way the color, it's like goes from blue to like a very light purple. And that enameling is very pretty as well. So this one's going to be 10 and the keyword is going to be peacock. Peacock. And there's your bail. If you want to wear it on a chain, it would hang like that. If you wear it as a brooch, it's going to sit like that. Okay. Very pretty. All right, next up, let's do this ring. This one is a size six. There is some markings in there. I, th I guess that's the, the maker mark inside. It's kind of hard to see. There is some markings in there. But let me show you. It's a size six, and it has the crushed turquoise inlay and has the eagle in the crest in the black onyx. Um, this one's going to be $10, and we'll call this Keyword Eagle. Keyword Eagle. Really cool. Southwestern ring. Okay. So 10 for that one. And then we have another really awesome brooch. This one's a star, and it has the dangles that come down. Really pretty. So bring it closer so you can see. So keyword's going to be star. Silver tone on that one. Beautiful brooch. That's the back. And this one's $8. And just put in star. Keyword star. And if you want to know measurement-wise, the size on this, uh... This one is about three inches to the bottom of the dangles, about three inches to the bottom. Really pretty. Okay. All right. I think that was four. So we'll do one more. Let's do these bracelets. I have a lot of two bracelets. You have um, the little cross on here. This one is a stretch to fit. Okay. Stretch to fit. And it has a little dangly rhinestone. And then on this one, it, it has like a twist lock. Let's see. There we go. 
So you, you twist it and then lock it into place so it doesn't come undone. And it has all these little silver and gold tone crosses. So um, $6 and you'll get both of them. And let me get you a quick size on this one since it is not a stretch to fit. Keyword's going to be uh, cross bracelet lot. Cross bracelet lot. And it looks like the one with all the cross charms is about a six and a half. Size six and a half on this one. Super cute. And it looks like it might be leather, the strap, the bracelet itself. Okay. And I believe that was five for me. So we can go back over to Miss Kelly. Thank you so much. Okay. And you're up, All right. Buddy. This is going to be a lot. This is a um, gunmetal multi-strand. And it has this beautiful, it almost looks like a mystic topaz, but it's got a more of a green tone to the the crystals on there, the glass beads. They're, I think they're glass beads, but so pretty with the multi-strand gunmetal. And you can make it quite long if you like or short. And gosh, it's got a tag. I wonder if we could see it under the, I'm having a hard time reading it. Oh, I don't know. That's right. I don't know this symbol. But I'm going to show you guys because you might. That's a symbol on it. So probably the maker. But I'm going to lot it with this belt. Gosh, this if you were going on a cruise or even just out actually anywhere, this is gorgeous. Gosh, I have so many dresses I like to belt, but isn't this pretty? And it, it goes so well with it. A lot of bling. And it's all um, like it's going to fit any of us. It's stretchy. Black stretchy. And has the, the two snaps. And so that lot for those two pieces. We're going to go uh, $20 for the belt and the necklace. I hope you're seeing that in there. <laughs> Gotta fit it all in. Such a pretty one. And um twenty dollars we'll say uh oh boy, what we call it? a uh, belt lot. Belt lot. Okay. I could just see that on a cruise. I must be wanting to go on a cruise. I keep thinking oh. of the cruise <laughs> today. I'm wanting to get out of here. <laughs> right? You need a great. Yeah. And here's another ocean, uh, a beachy necklace, let's call it. And it's another, it could be like 18 inch or collar style, collar length. Oh, Lord, I can't talk. Sorry, guys. Anyway, um, these are, gosh, it's more green than what it's showing on here. It looks more yellow, but this shows a lot of green. Like it looks more like the ocean in real. <laughs> anyway, it's got those, um, I think it's called metal. Is it metal back, foil back? Yeah, full back. back. Yeah, really pretty statement necklace. And this is going to be $10, and we'll just say uh, foil back. Oh, boy. I can't believe how green and beautiful that is, and it looks so muted on here. Anyway, so along with our ocean theme, uh, this guy is so cool. He's an octopus, and he is um, cast iron. He's shabby chic I like the color of him. Um, I don't, let's see. He does have a hook. Oh, I was wondering how you would hook him on your wall. There you go. And I, I honestly thought to myself, well, yeah, you could hang something on it, but it'd be best with just like necklaces or something hung on his tentacles. But anyway, he's a cute guy. And we're going to go on him. He's cast iron. Let's do uh, $12 cast iron opto. And then this one, this one's just going to be a $10 octo. And he's, you can hang him on the wall as well. And um, this one's pink, pink and polka dotted with like glowy fluorescent colors. <laughs> and this one's going to be $10 pink octo. And that's my five. Yes, ma'am. Very nice. No, that's not. That's my four. Oh, okay. 
Okay, I will show my, I had it in my hand right here. Got a little set, another ocean set. And um, this one's so cute. It's kind of got a little weight to it, so it's nicely made. And these are all like shells. They have white enamel on them. Here's the back side. And it's a long chain that can also be made shorter if you were to want to. And the nice thing about this one is it's a set. It has a pair of earrings. And that's going to be $10. And we'll just say shell set. Shell set. $10. Now, that's my five. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Belle. You're very welcome. All right. So we have some genuine pearls coming up. It's going to be a lot of two necklaces. One has some blue glass with it. So you'll get both of them. Um, I'm trying to remember the measurements. 19 inches on this one and 21 on this one. Both have genuine pearls. Um, we'll do 14 for both, the lot of two of them. And then we have a beautiful brooch, floral brooch, that would look very nice. The color is so pretty, the blue enamel. Dark blue and a, a darker blue and a lighter blue with silver faux pearls and clear rhinestones. So this brooch, let's see. I think it can also be worn. Yes, it can also be worn as a pendant. It does have a bail there. So if you wanted to wear it as a pendant, you certainly could. Um, oh, did I tell you pearl lot? That was the keyword for that. I'm so sorry. And then for this one, the keyword is going to be blue flower, blue flowers and ten dollars blue flowers and ten dollars and that one was pearl lot 14 okay silver tone back all right let's do this vatican rosary next it has these beautiful red ab crystal beads and it was 20 to the top here and i believe around 24 to the bottom so it's going to be a little long for this bust. I'll pull it back just a tad. And let me bring it a little closer so you can see. And then the other side. And then let me show you the actual cross. And the back is signed Vatican. Did you use that keyword yet, Kel? I did not. Okay, so keyword's going to be Vatican Rosary and $12 on this one. The beading is just so pretty. I don't know if the camera's showing how beautiful, but look at the colors on that. How pretty. Okay, so 12 on that one and Vatican is the keyword. All right, let's do this cloisonne ring next. This one sits at a seven on the ring mandrel, but being that it's wide, I would say go down a, a, maybe to a six and a half, six and three quarters. Let me take it off of there. That black always makes things gl like glare, I feel like, when you have something on a black background, and neutral usually does best, but it has some beautiful red, I guess maybe cardinals. Forgive me if I'm calling it the wrong uh I mix up the birds sometimes, but it does have the birds on it and enamel flowers. Really pretty. And um, we'll do um, $10 on this one if anybody wants this. And keyword is cloisonne ring. Cloisonne ring. It's a yeah. nice wide band. Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then... Okay, so we did that. One, two, three, four. One more item. Let's do this angel brooch. Very pretty. There's a multiple colors. Red, blue, green, enameling, white on the wings. Blowing the trumpet. And gold tone. That's the back. Um, on this one, we'll go $8 and... The keyword's going to be angel, angel brooch. So pretty. 
And let's see, I think that was five. Yeah, we can go back to Miss Kelly. Thank you so wow, much. Wow, you're fast. Yeah, we don't have, we only have an hour, so I try yeah. to get through them so you guys can see as many pretties as possible. <laughs> you're up. Okay. And we've got another cute um, beachy type necklace. These are three sand dolls. Sand dollars. Sand, no, those aren't sand dollars. <laughs> Starfish in gold tone. Boy, it's glaring off that bus, too. Let's take it off. Okay, there we go. Yeah, really cute. And you can wear it shorter or longer, probably up to about 20 inch. And let's look at the back. I don't see a name brand on it. And this guy's going to be $10, and we'll just say um, starfish. I don't think we used starfish, did we, Bill? Starfish? No. Um, I don't know if you – I haven't. No. Okay. I don't know if you had something. Starfish, $10 on that one. Okay. And then here I've got really cute – this is just a little hair barrette. It's all enameled. Um, it's pink enameled on silver tone. Really well made. I think it's a vintage one. And this little guy is going to be $8. Pink enameled hair barrette. Okay. And then I have a lot of brooches here. Um, two cute little moon glow faced girls. One's got her painting easel. And the other one's in her, looks like her rain jacket and hat. She has a watering. No, that's her purse. Oh, how cute. She's got braids in her hair. And these two little girls are going to be, for both brooches, $10. And we'll just say um, girls. $10 girls. There's their backs. Okay. And then... I have this, I'm going to come down so we're at the right angle. I don't know if you can see it. It's so hard to see on here. Put my hand behind it. I don't know if you can see the image in that. It's a square glass crystal with both their praying hands, praying hands and a cross behind them in it. And on this side, the edge is flattened so that you can sit like that. It sits like up. Like that, suspended. And then it's got the praying hands and the cross in the glass. There, you can only see when my hand's behind it. <laughs> right there. And this is going to be $10. And we'll just say praying hands cube. Praying hands cube. Okay. And for my fourth, this is my, oh, this is my, yeah, this is my fourth. <laughs> Got this really cute perfume bottle, really old. Um, if it had an automizer, I think it does. I think that looks like the type that takes an automizer. It is gone, but it's so cute. It's got the cording couples. Each scene looks like it's a little bit different on there. Oh, he's playing something. That's cute. And um, I don't see any markings. Really cute. I'll see how tall this is. Mm. Well, there we go. It's like it's uh, two and three fourths tall. And let's say um, this is $20 vintage perfume. $20 vin vintage perfume. Let's see, that's one, two, three, four. I think I did my five, Belle. All righty. All right, I had to bring out the larger bust because I have some longer items to show you. We have the Sarah Coventry Crusader Cross 20-inch chain. Very pretty. And on the back, signed Sarah Coventry. And this one's going to be $12. And keyword's going to be Sarah Coventry it is a large cross. 
Sarah Coventry cross is the keyword. Let me get you a measurement on the cross. So the cross is about three inches. Okay. Really pretty. I'll put her on the bus so you can see. Now, on the bust here, I have a really long flapper, uh, baby pink faux pearl necklace. Um, let me get a length on the pearl necklace for you. It's wrapped around three times. It has a little, um, almost like a little lock, it looks like, with the rhinestone is the tag that it has on it. And these are glass, really long. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> excuse me, I have a frog in my throat. So it looks like she is, the pearls are, wow, almost a 37 inch drop. So what is that, like 74 inches? Wow, flapper length. Um, let's do, we'll go $10, $10 on this one. If anybody wants it and just put long, long pink pearls and you can wear them like doubled over or wear them tripled over or wear them long. Um, if you want to let's fix the camera so you can see, there we go. Okay. And then next I have a cameo ring. This one is a size eight, beautiful cameo ring, and it is $10, keyword cameo ring. Really pretty, gold tone. Let's see if I can try it on. There we go. There she is. So 10 on that one. Okay, that was the third, I believe. Let's do a brooch. This one's really pretty. It almost looks like the lily pad. It has that stained glass look to it. So pretty. And the fish has pave rhinestones, pave set rhinestones. Pretty colors. Isn't that beautiful enamel work too? So this one can be worn as a pendant as well. It does have a bail right here so you could put it on a chain if you wanted to wear it as a pendant and there's your pen as the back and this one is eight dollars and uh koi fish uh we'll call it i think that's a koi fish if not i'm sorry keyword's gonna be koi fish <laughs> isn't that pretty so pretty okay i feel like sometimes the camera just doesn't do justice to some of these pieces you know what i mean Okay, I have to show you one more item. Um, I think one, two, three, four. Yes, yeah, so let's do a bracelet. All right, so this bracelet is a size seven approximately. It is 12 karat gold filled and um, looks like black onyx. Um, we'll go $10 on this one. And just say you want the black onyx bracelet, gold filled. It is signed. Um, I doubt you're going to be able to see it on the camera. Where is it? On the, uh, I think it's signed on the actual spring ring, but you're not going to be able to see that. But I had to look through a loop to see it, but it is gold filled. Okay. And that was my fifth. So we will go back over to Miss Kelly if you're ready. Okay. okay. All right. And That's I've got a, um, a really pretty glass uh, necklace here. Thin green tones. It's got some Melly Fiori in the blown glass pendant and dicrylic. And um, looks almost like a copper or gold acrylic and the um, has heavy glass green beads up here and then it has onyx um, black onyx beads 
And um, this one, there's your back. It's a really pretty one. This one's going to be $15. And let's just say um, Millie Fiore glass. Okay. And then this one. Now, this is really awesome. This is the whole necklace is um, carnelian. Oh, can't get this off of here. There we go. There we go. Beautiful carnelian beads. Of course, it's a little weighty. Very smooth, cold to the touch carnelian. Love the luster's color on this. And here's the big pendant. And then it even has a tassel. So pretty. It's all hand knotted. And this one's going to be $20. And we're just say um, carnelian, uh, carnelian tassel necklace. Okay. Then this one is just done on like a braided rope chain, multi strand. And it's got glass. Here's the what I'm showing you here. Really nicely done though. They're all braided. And then it has the three strands of these really pretty colored glass. And these beads are like woven into the braiding. I don't know if you can see that. They're really cool. And they're like golds, browns, and yellow tones. And this one is going to be $12. And we'll just say multi-strand glass. Multi-strand glass. Okay. Three. And so my fourth one is going to be this beautiful... Um, these are rice pearls, I believe. I don't know. They, they look like they're mint green in color. So I'm not sure if they're faux or if they're real. Uh, they could just be faux beads as well. And it's a rosary. Really pretty. It's written really tiny on there, but I believe it's saying that it's the, the Vatican, the library. It looks like they're insignia. It won't focus for me. So tiny. And um, here's the station. That's really pretty. And then here's the back. And it says the, there, maybe we can read it better now. I don't know if that's focusing for you guys. I can't hardly see that. Anyway, it's a really gorgeous one, and this one is going to be um, $15, and we'll say mint green uh, rosary. Mint green rosary. Okay, let's see, and that's four, so we need one more. Um, let's do one more rosary, and I'm going to lot this up. This rosary is... Uh, um, I'm lost for words. Yes, hematite. <laughs> and um, it has the cat's eye beads and more hematite beads. Right there. And we're going to put it and lot it with um, a cross necklace. And it's also hematite. It has a barrel clasp, hematite beads, and the hematite cross. So let's lot those two and let's say $15 hematite rosary and cross. This one's really 3D. I love that. Okay, and I think that's my five, Belle. All righty. Very nice, Kel. Thank you. All right, so this chain has never been worn. I bought a lot of um, salesman samples that they use just to show. So there's no wear at all on this vintage chain. It is beautiful. I believe it's gold plated. Um, approximately, I believe this one was 19 inches. It's like a, a snake chain, but like textured, really pretty. Let's see if I can bring it close so you can see the texturing. So this one we will do uh, $10 on it and 
we'll just call it uh, snake chain. Keyword snake chain. The next one has is a set. It has a bracelet to go with it, the gold tone set. It looks like some black glass inside of there. And it's about 19 inches as well. And we'll do 14 for the set. You'll get the bracelet to match it. And I'll show you the uh, bracelet as well. So let's take this one. Here's your clasp. And if I can get it straight, driving me nuts because the links. Okay, there we go. I think I got it straight. Good enough. All right, so there's the necklace. And then the bracelet to match. It's sitting at a seven and a quarter is where it's sitting. And there's your clasp on it. So you'll get both pieces and we'll call it a uh, keyword black and gold, black and gold set. Okay. And you'll get the necklace and the bracelet and it is vintage. Okay. Um, let's do some brooches next. I have a hand painted wooden brooch vintage. It, it looks like it is a basket of flowers. Really cute vintage brooch. And it has the C-type class in the back there. Um, this one's going to be $10. And keyword is, um, let's just call this one flower basket. Flower basket for the keyword. Okay. Really cool. And then the next one, I believe, is tollware. And this one is hand painted also. It's like a little miniature tray with the hand painted flowers. And that's the back there. And this one's also 10. And um, keyword, let's just call this one tollware. Or you could say tray. Either way, I'll know which one you want. Okay. Really pretty. Vintage brooches. So that was one, two, three, four. We need to do one more. Um, let's do these crosses. I'm going to give you a choice. Cross necklaces, pendant necklaces. So one is a faux pearl. And number two has these beautiful champagne AB rhinestones. And it is $8 for your choice. And you could just say cross necklace number one. Or cross necklace number two. Really cool. This one looks like it might be artesian made. Really cool. That's pretty. Isn't that cool? So, um, did I say $8 for your choice? I think. $8 for your choice. And let me give you a quick measurement on the crosses. They are. About two and a half with the bail included approximately on both. So the crosses are about the same size, the actual pendant. And the chain, so this one has a spring ring. Let's see how long it is with the champagne rhinestones. Looks like it's about an 18-inch chain. And then the first one looks like it's going to be about 20. Yeah. The first one's 20, okay? So 20 on the first one and 18 on the second, on the lengths. All right. And I believe that was five for me. So we'll go back over to Miss Kelly. Thank you guys so much. And you are up. Okay. And here I'm lotting this up. It's a um, Noah's Ark uh, bracelet. It's got all the animals going two by two into the arc. So cute. Gold tone. It's seven inches. And I'm putting in the earrings, which are new old star stock. New on card artifacts. Oh, uh -oh. You all know. right? Yes, I'm okay. It just hit my foot. I'm okay. got, um, Pierced ring earrings with, and it's gold tone with the pewter elephants. 
down there on the rings. Really cool. And this lot is going to be $10. And we'll just say um, Noah's Ark lot. Noah's Ark lot. Okay. And I have another lot here. These are new old stock again. And these are all um, earrings. They all have like African looking on it right there. These are the, these are pierced. New on cards. These are from the 70s. New old stock. And they're pierced again. Really cool, huh? Double heads on that one. And this one. It's a little bit different. That looks like Nefertiti on this one. I don't like. And for the lot, it's going to be $12. You get three pair. $12. Let's call it head earrings. Okay. All right. There's that. And then <clears throat> I've got three magnets. They're, they're um, good size magnets. These look, um, oh, these are really cool too. There's a different guy. They're playing different instruments, I believe. Their huts are behind them. Mm -hmm. And um, these are going to be for all three, $6. Uh, let's just say magnets, because I don't think we have any other magnets. That's what they look like. Whoop. <laughs> they hook together. That's what they look like on the back. $6 magnets. Okay. See, that's three. We need two more. Okay. These are really pretty earrings. Um, fashion earrings. They're new old stock as well. Very Victorian looking. They're um, dangles and clip on. And these are going to be ten dollars and we'll say uh victorian earrings because they look kind of victorian to me okay and then for my fifth i think this is my fifth let's see one two maybe four okay this is gorgeous and this i guess you call a jewelry casket and it is um gold uh silver plated look at the feet aren't those pretty it's a nice large one. I'll measure it too. There's the top. The inside's in good condition. These are a little dusty. It's got a nice red interior. And here's the bottom. I haven't polished it up. I'll leave that to its new owner. I don't think there's any markings, but if it was going to be marked, I would think it'd be right there. And let's um, measure. It is eight inches long, two and a half wide. Really pretty little jewelry casket or big jewelry casket. And this one is going to be $30. We'll say jewelry casket. And that was my fifth, I believe. All right. Very nice. All right. This next necklace is, it looks uh, kind of like a gunmetal tone, faceted gunmetal tone, or like a hematite. Very pretty. And with the extension included, it is a 20-inch wearable. And this one is going to be $6. Um, we'll call this one gunmetal statement gunmetal statement and it is silver tone i have it pinned back a little shorter because this bust is short and that's the back it has an open back and silver tone metal very pretty okay on that one and then Let's do some brooches. All right, I'm going to give you a choice on flower brooches. Flower brooch number one, 
with the amethyst glass, faceted glass. Purple enameling, really pretty. And this one can be also be worn as a pendant, number one. There's your bail and your pen, gold tone metal. And the second one has pink enameling with the clear rhinestones. And it has a little ladybug on the leaf. Um, $8 for your choice. You could say flower number one or flower number two. Now, number two cannot be worn as a pendant, only as a brooch. Okay, no veil on that one. Both very pretty. Two of my favorite colors, purple and pink. And I'm not sure what kind of flowers. I'm not good with the flower names. I just know they're pretty. Okay. So you get your choice of those. All right. Next up, let's do some earrings. I have some cross earrings with the clear rhinestones. Very pretty. These are for pierced ears. And $5.00. And the keyword's going to be cross earrings. Okay. And then I have some really cool angel earrings. And these will be five. Keyword angel earrings. They are for pierced ears. Have your little fishy hook type hooks. Really cool. So five for those. And then let's see. I have another brooch here. This one is by Florenza. Vintage brooch by Florenza. Did you have any Florenza brooches this no. year? Mm -hmm. This go? Okay. So keyword's going to be Florenza brooch. And it's a $12 buy it now. And it's signed Florenza on the bottom there. Right there. Okay. Beautiful vintage brooch. And I believe that was five. We can go back over to Kelly. We have a couple minutes left. Okay. Sorry if I'm bouncing around. I'm trying okay, to Okay, I'm too. Screen. Sorry, guys. Okay. So, yeah, vertigo. Okay, here's a pretty um, uh, key and lock necklace in the shape of a heart. It's a brass tone. It's got little charmies on it. Really cute. And the key does say something. I don't recognize the... There you go. On both sides it says... And um, the chains are um, 30 inches long, multi-chain, so it's really long. And this is going to be $14, and we'll just say uh, lock and key necklace. And here's the chains. Really cool. Very steampunk. Seems like a steampunk style on this one. Okay. And then Florenza, speaking of Florenza, I do have a Florenza, but it's a box. So we're going to say Florenza box on this one. It's so cute. It's an older box. It has a Victorian scene on the top. And here's its sticker, Florenza, made in Italy. It's a really cute little box. It's in good shape. It's wooden. Let's see what the measurements are. It's four by two and a half. And this one's going to be $15. Florenza box. And then for my third, got this really neat. Um, it's a vanity uh, table jar. And it's got the Lucite top with florals. Um, under the loose site, it screws. It's in excellent condition. And this one is going to be $20. Loose site vanity jar. Loose site vanity jar. And let's see, that's one, two, three, 
for, I have a Monet brooch. It's a butterfly and it has a, um, a pearl spray on the front of it. This is just like new still, the condition. Doesn't want to focus, but it does say Monet right, right there. And this one's going to be $10, Monet Butterfly. And then we need one more item. I have another. Over. <laughs> oh, oh, I guess we better say goodbye. <laughs> Bye. Thanks, you guys. Bye-bye.